stop scrolling. If you've got a fire stick, you're about to unlock the real reason people love it. There are secret codes hidden inside this thing that open up free movies, non-stop TV shows, and even live sports channels most people don't even know exist. Miss this, and you'll be stuck paying for stuff others are watching for free. So lock in with me right now, because I'm about to show you how to crack it wide open. First, navigate to your main screen and find that magnifying glass icon. Press down, then click the central button on your remote. A keyboard will pop up. Now type in Downloader. You should see it pop up as a suggested item. Scroll down, highlight it, and press the central button again. This will take you to the correct app, which is orange. Let's install it. The app's page will open. Just press the central button once, and the download will commence. Wait for it to hit 100%. Patience is a virtue here. Once it's complete, you'll see Launch Now, but hold off on opening it just yet. Now that it says Launch Now, hit the Home button on your remote. Next, we need to access your Fire Stick settings to make a vital configuration. The quickest way to get there is to slide all the way to the right on your main screen. A menu will appear down below. Slide down, and we're looking for the option labeled My Fire TV. If your device isn't recently updated, My Fire TV might be located elsewhere. If you have an older model, it might be called My Device. In any case, that's the selection we need to make. Go ahead and click it. On my screen, Developer Options is already visible. If you don't see that, don't stress. I'll guide you through exactly how to enable it. Move up and choose About. Now, with your Fire Stick or Fire TV highlighted, press the central button nine times. A message will pop up saying, Congratulations, you are now a developer. Once you see that, press the back button and Developer Options will now be displayed on the menu. Let's open Developer Options together. The first setting is a DB debugging. Press the central button to toggle it on. If a small prompt box appears, scroll down and select Allow. Now choose Install Unknown Apps. You'll definitely spot Downloader on the list. You might see other apps too. Scroll to Downloader and press the central button to enable it. On some older Fire Sticks, this specific choice might not be visible. It might say, Apps from Unknown Sources, and you can simply switch the setting on or off. If that's what you see, just flip it to on. Once you're done, press the home button on your remote. Now, let's locate that new downloader app. The simplest way is to scroll almost to the end and click the icon with three squares and a plus sign. This screen displays every single app you have installed. The newest ones always show up at the very bottom. Just scroll all the way down and you'll discover the app you just finished adding. Let's open Downloader together. If a small box pops up, just hit the central button to dismiss it. To start, press the central button two times. A keypad will appear so you can type the web address. Today, I'll direct you to a special website. I'll display the address on the screen as I enter it. Be sure you type it in precisely or you might get an error. Take your time. Pause the video if I'm going too fast. Once you've typed it correctly, highlight and hit go. Let's wait for the download to finish. If you happen to see a connection error or a check link message, it means your connection is being blocked. Simply turn on your VPN or change its location and that should resolve the issue. When it's done, you'll be prompted to install the app. Slide over and select Install. When the setup is finished, slide over and choose Done. After you click Done, you'll return to this screen. Now, slide over, click Delete, and then again, slide and select Delete. That's all we need from the Downloader app for now. Press the Home button. Next, we need to go back into the Fire Stick settings to make one final critical adjustment. Remember, Scroll all the way to the end. Select My Fire TV or My Device, then open Developer Options 
and once again, go into Install Unknown Apps. Select that option. Now you'll notice Unlin is showing in the list. If you have other apps, scroll down to highlight Unlin and press the central button once to enable it. Once everything's set up, press the home button again. Now, we need to locate the new Unlin app. Remember, just scroll over and select the icon with three squares and a plus sign. All your apps are on this screen and the newest one is always at the bottom. That's where you'll see the Unlin app we just installed. Let's open it. The first thing it asks for is a new library. Click the central button on your remote two times just like that. Another keypad will pop up asking for the library code. Folks, I created my very own exclusive app store, giving access only to my viewers and followers. I worked hard to fill my store with only the best, newest apps. All I ask for my effort, keeping the apps up to date, creating this video and answering your questions, is that you hit the subscribe button. That simple action tells me thank you for giving all of this away for free. And a huge thank you to all my viewers who are already following me. Now that you're a follower, go ahead and type in this code. Make sure to take your time. It must be written exactly the same, or you might encounter an error. If I'm moving too fast, just pause the video. After you enter the code correctly, highlight and click Next and let it load up. Welcome to my custom app store. There are 70 awesome apps here for free. On-demand content, live content, live sports, and more. People frequently ask, which are my favorites? My top picks for cord cutting are highlighted in the welcome message. Many viewers also inquire about VPNS. I've put a note right here, so take a quick moment to read all the info on the welcome screen. After you've read everything, press the central button on your remote three times. This will organize my store for you. Move up and down for categories or right and left for the apps. Today, I'll show you a few, walk you through how it all works, and how to begin enjoying your free content. Now scroll down through the categories until you reach category number 13. Cool YouTube examples. The first app I recommend downloading here is IPVANISHVPN. This is my favorite choice for staying safe and private while using all these apps. Some people have trouble installing or opening apps because their internet provider is blocking them. Using IPVanishVPN keeps you secure and gets around any restrictions from your provider. To download IPVanishVPN, you can highlight it and click download, or what I prefer to do to always get the latest version is go back to the Fire Stick home screen. Find the magnifying glass, scroll down, click the search bar, and when the keyboard pops up, type in I-P-V-A-N-I-S-H. Highlight and click the central button. On this page, select the app from the list, and in this menu, click the central button to start the installation process. Once it's installed, Click the central button to launch it, and you can log in. Don't have an account yet? No worries. I'll show you a super simple way to get one so you can browse safely and unlock all these amazing apps. Grab your phone or computer and open your browser. Go to the website shown on screen, or just point your camera at the QR code to get there instantly. The link is also provided in the video description and the comments. Choose a plan. Even one month is enough to test it out and see the difference for yourself. After you sign up, they'll send an email with your username and password. With those details, your Fire Stick will be safe and private. Log in to the IP Vanish app and press connect. There's one setting I want to highlight for you. Tap the gear icon in the IP Vanish app. A menu pops up, I've highlighted Connect on Android Startup. If you turn this on, you'll never have to remember to activate your VPN every time you turn on your device. It'll connect automatically, so you never have to pause your movie just to check if your VPN is running. It just does it for you. Now that you're totally protected, let's start grabbing some more great apps. 
press home and head back to your apps. Open the Unlin app again and return to the same category. Here are the next four apps I recommend for on-demand, shows, sports, and live content. You'll see four more apps to download here. Make sure to check the descriptions so you know exactly what each one does and how to use it. Here's the first. You'll spot an app for live channels, special events, and more. Click it, press download, and now we'll just wait for this to reach 100%. It might only take a couple of seconds if your internet is quick or a little longer if it's not. But either way, this step always completes. So just stay patient and let it do its thing. This depends on your internet speed and the file size how long it might take. But when the box pops up, select Install App, slide over, and press Install. Now it's going through the installation, so we'll wait until that reaches 100%. This step can take a little longer than downloading. But don't worry, it's completely normal. And once it's finished, we'll be ready to move forward. After that, it'll take us right back into the store so we can get more apps. Next, you'll see an app focused on sports. Highlight it and hit download. Here comes another loading bar. All we need to do is let it climb to 100%. Depending on your connection, this part might fly by or take a short moment. Don't worry though, it's just part of the process and we'll be moving forward right after. When you see the small box, click Install App, slide over, and hit Install. Depending on your device, this might be quick or take a moment, but either way, it always completes and will continue as soon as it does. Now, look for an app that brings you both movies and TV shows. Highlight, click Download, and let it finish. We'll pause here for a bit while it fills up to 100%. I know it feels like we've done this step before, but it's all part of the setup. Just hang tight. This won't take forever, and we'll be on to the next step before you know it. When the install box appears, select Install App, slide over, and click Install. Now, some apps in my store need a separate player to work correctly. The one you just downloaded for movies and TV shows is like that. You'll notice the title says, it requires another player. It might seem a bit confusing at first, but the description explains everything, and it'll make sense once you start using the apps. Let's get that required player app now. Find the app, select Download, and wait for it to complete. Almost there. Just let this one load all the way up to 100%. I know we've had a couple of these waits already, but that's just how the process goes. Stick with me, it won't be much longer, and when the box shows up, install it like before, and that's all there is to it. We just grabbed four awesome apps. Remember, there are 70 total in my store, so don't feel limited by what I've shown you here. My top favorites are in category one, top apps. The apps in that category are my absolute favorites. I use them daily. Explore the store and download as many of the apps as you want to try. Now, I know we just added some amazing apps for free movies, TV, sports, live TV, and pay-per-view. But before you open any of these, I always recommend turning on your VPN first. Thank you so much to everyone who follows and supports this channel. It means so much and helps me out a ton. I appreciate you all for spending your time with me. I can't wait to read your comments and see you again in the next video.